Y'all just chill out, man. Leave me alone. I might have one of y'all niggas on, on his knees too, ho. Yeah, why, why everybody worry about me? Need to be worried about with your brothers and cousins and shit. So, quick late night chat. I just left the gym, right? So, I remember in early 2019, a uh, sex tape, or not really a sex tape, uh, a video was leaked on Twitter where it showed an alleged rapper from Memphis receiving oral sex from a man. Now, upon the video being released and it going viral, it sparked a conversation where a lot of people were saying he was exposed for being a DL download rapper. Now, I remember there were so many conversations going on on social media. All these dudes are gay. These rap dudes be the man wine. It be the hood dudes. What about his baby mama? He be having sex with all these women. Sick, nasty STDs. You know how the girls carry. But I remember this rapper responding to all the critiques and he responded in such a way that was so fascinating so dominant so masculine to me and he literally shut the conversation down and i thought his story could maybe lay the premise for an interesting conversation about down low versus discreet so i figured let's do it so the rapper was from memphis tennessee he was actually an asp aspiring rapper who went by the name of Cash Money. His real name was Cavius McNeil. So when the video went viral of Cavius McNeil getting oral sex from a male who was alleged to be a police officer, this was alleged, I don't know if it to be true. I didn't research the man who gave him head. It's not that important. Because really, we ain't even here to talk about him. I want to talk about Download versus Discreet a little bit. Now, let me be clear, in this video, the rapper Cash Money, and this is all alleged, even though he confirmed it was him. The rapper Cash Money was recording the video himself. So he was actually holding the phone camera, recording himself, receiving oral sex from a man. Obviously, based off him being an aspiring rapper and who everyone perceived him to be, they thought he was a heterosexual man. So like I said, there were some very trash comments. There was a lot of different conversations being had, a lot of allegations being made, a lot of people just speaking from what they know, and things that really weren't their business. But you know, it's gossip when you're a public figure. So the rapper Cash Money went to Facebook Live to respond to all the commotion. In his response, he made it very clear that he was not a download brother. He made it very clear that he was not afraid of black male culture and black male culture would not run his life and that's what i thought was so attractive so first off he made it very clear that yes it was him in the video he did not lie he did not deny it he didn't say he was forced he didn't say he was drugged he didn't say he was hard you know some of the things we've heard in our past stories this was a man who took accountability for what he did in the video he owned up to it he was not afraid of what y'all had to say he did not care about any one of the opinions. He said if he did it once, he'll do it again. And he also made it clear that his baby mama and his girl that he's with now are aware of what he does and that he been put them on game in his words. So based off his response and his testimony, we can conclude that this was a man who used discretion when participating in activities with other men. So when we think about the word discreet, to be careful or modest, not to attract too much attention. And this was in fact a discreet man. This was a man who participated in sexual activities with men and also dated women and is in a relationship with a woman who is well aware of what he does and their relationship is still solid. And she's still with her man. And he said in the video she's not leaving. And she confirmed that in the background, allegedly. So then, looking in the comments, people still weren't satisfied with his response. They were, a lot of people still felt like he was obligated to let them know. So then my question to y'all is, you say the women need to know. And I agree. So the women in his life know. But that's still not good enough for certain people. They feel like everybody needs to know. Why? This was a man who crossed his teeth and dotted his eyes. The only people who have the right to know who you have sex with are the people you're having sex with. The women he was with knew what he was doing based off what he said. Why does everyone else need to know? 
A man can keep his discretion. He does not have to let the world know he's gay. The difference between a DL man and a discreet man. A dominant man is someone who will have sexual relations with the LGBTQ, but he'll hide it. He'll deny it. He'll go out his way to make sure no one knows or finds out about it. When you think of a discreet man, just like you said, he's not bringing too much attention to it. He may not go on his job and tell everyone he's gay. He may not tell everyone he meets that he's gay, but he's not hiding it. He's not denying it. If you ask a discreet man, most of the time he'll tell you, yes, I am bisexual. Yes, I am this. Yes, I am that. Or it's just a thing where it's none of your business. But these aren't men who are hiding it. These aren't men who are going out of their way to deny it. Discreet men ain't creeping around late in the night. Some. Now, don't get me wrong. In my experience, some discreet men are just the same as DL men. It really ain't no difference in some of their behaviors or how they may treat you. But there is a difference in the level of security and comfortability within a discreet man. Like, comfortable in his skin. He doesn't have a chip on his shoulder worrying about what people think about his sexuality. And on the other hand, I think DL men kind of always walk around with that. What if? Discreet men just don't have that fear, you know? They don't care. They've kind of gotten over that stage. It's funny because I met a discreet guy at the gym, and I saw him when I was walking in, and I guess he was finishing up his workout, and I saw him looking at me from across the gym. So I walked into the locker room or whatever, put my stuff up, and I came out the locker room, and all of a sudden he was... I mean, sorry, I came out the stall because I went to use the bathroom, and he was all of a sudden in the locker room with his shirt off. And I was like, okay, this boy came in here to flakes. Washing my hands, he's staring at me, I'm staring at him, like, he's making it very obvious, like, he was attracted to me. So, okay, I walk out there, I go and start stretching. So, while I'm on the ground stretching, he's about to leave, so he got his little backpack on. He comes and slips me, like, a piece of paper, like, he puts it on the floor next to me while I'm stretching. And when I lay, when I laid my head up from stretching, I look at the paper, and I saw it was his name and his number and his Snapchat. Child, I be telling y'all all my business, but listen, basically he had sat inside the locker room was like, you know, I don't want to interrupt you while you working out, but I thought you were attractive, da 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 thought that was very brave, very grown man, attractive. Text him when I left the gym. Mind you, this would be a whole different story, but just to get in with this, he wanted to work out with me, so we ended up working out a couple of days later at the gym. We've been texting, getting to know each other. So I asked him, I was like, so, you know, are you openly gay? And I know y'all might think that's funny because you're like, aren't y'all communicating? But these men will communicate with you like they want to date you and really be the So I'm like, I mean, are you openly gay? He was like, no, I'm not out. He was like, but I'm not afraid to be with you. Like, so what does that mean? He kind of, he didn't explain it to me, but from what I gather and what I understand, he was discreet. So it wasn't a thing where he was hiding it, but he wasn't out to anyone. He hadn't came out to anyone. And he really wasn't. Like, when we were in there working out, he was all over me. I was like, boy, calm down. I was like, for somebody who's discreet, they gonna know you gay up in here now. This was not, uh, he's a whole different story, but there are discreet men who do exist. Not all men are just walking around here in fear that someone's going to find out that they kissed the boy and they liked it, child. Some men do just prefer to not tell the world, and I understand that. But back to the rapper Cash Money. My only thing, or my only issue with him was, in that live video, he also said that he wasn't gay, he was just curious. But in the same video, you said you did it once and you'll do it again. And in the same video, you said that your baby mama and your girlfriends already know what you do, so which one is it now? Because you recorded that video. I don't think that was your first time, but that ain't none of my business. Nevertheless, I appreciated his response. Shows a certain amount of courage, especially with him being an aspiring rapper. I think when you're that comfortable in yourself as a man, you don't leave any room or any space or any opportunity for anyone to question you. And that's what it's all about. But like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Let me know your opinion.